interesting to take the manager's view, wouldn't it, of just how much pressure they feel when the chairman is looking down from on high. These people have invested so much money in the game. This will end in disappointment for one party and inner party for the other. The way in which a team starts a game is so important. You need to show plenty of positive intent. Henri. Xavi. Slid into space on the flank. Needs to be accurate. Be awkward to get in across, it's a corner. Perfect ball for a header. Just millimetres to the right, that shot. Well, that's the first shot of the game, but at least it's a positive step for the team. Park G saw. Park Jisoo may have to deal with another one now. Well, the through ball came to nothing and it's been cleared upfield. Eto, oh, given away there. Eto, Messi, Xavi. The defence caught out here. Intercepted well. Rooney. Here they come again. Cristiano Ronaldo. Here comes the secondary threat, and he crosses, and the header! There's the opener, what a start! He did superbly to make that header, peeling off his marker and planting the ball so forcefully into the net, giving the keeper absolutely no chance. Just listen to the level of noise of appreciation of that strike that they've just seen. What a fantastic atmosphere we have here now. They found the opener, 1-0. This will no doubt settle the team down and make the manager a bit happier. Having got the breakthrough, I'd be surprised if they don't stay on the attack and try to get a second. Again they come. No ball in. Launches it early. Plays it upfield. Another chance to cross. And it may end with a chance. Looking for a corner. Oh, they'll battle for this in the middle. Chance! They've done it! Oh, this is turning out to be some game. Both sides desperate to seize the initiative. What a left foot strike that is. Absolute quality. Really unhappy about that goal. The crowd not really hiding their disappointment.
The score tied at one all. This will make for an interesting match now. I know the manager will want that lead back, and given their attacking talents, we can expect them to make it tough for the opposition. Messi. What a ball behind the defensive line. Surely he can't miss. Brown. Park Jisung. No way through. Knocks it long. Thirteen minutes on the clock in the first half. Brown. Carrick. Now the ball does come in. The last touch, I think, was off the defender. It's a corner. To the target in the centre. That will go behind for a goal kick. Skulls. Dealt with the threat expertly. A chance for a counter then. Still on the attack here. Finds himself in the area. That has to go down as a bad miss, especially from a player of his quality. A wasted opportunity. Tevez. That's good defending. Pressure on the defence now. Here comes the secondary threat. Took him out completely. Take away a free kick. Yep, referee's gone to his pocket. It's a yellow for a fairly careless challenge he didn't really have to make. Could have been another colour too. Certainly some sections of the crowd think red would have been more appropriate. Well, there's plenty to do. What options do they have here? The manager won't be pleased with him for that effort. He lacked any accuracy just when it was needed to turn things around. The fans hold their heads. They must have thought it was going in. Ferdinand. Tevez. Have the ball now. Eto. Now what? Put That's a really poor effort. Well wide. So frustrating for the manager as well as the player himself. He thought he'd struck it well enough. Ferdinand. Brown. Delivered towards the penalty spot. Maybe a miss hit. It was off target. I think he did tremendously well to get anything on it, let alone produce an absolutely fantastic effort like that. There will be one extra minute. Iniesta. Eto. And Messi. Here they come once more. The danger passes with a timely deflection. A corner though. Swings it in towards the near post. They're given another corner. It's across the face of goal. The whistle goes to signal half-time. The players can head off to the changing room for a well-earned break. Pretty pleased with the performance so far. I think they show good mental strength. 45 minutes to play. These two sides pride themselves on playing open attacking football. 
and they've not let us down in that respect. A fairly open contest here, we've seen some entertaining football, some good goals. I wonder, will the second half bring us a winner? Here's Eto and Henri. Here's Iniesta. Here's Messi. This is a good overlap. Again, they build. And the cross. Could this be a chance? Pumps it forward. Pass went astray. Not the most attacking piece of play, but a back pass always useful. Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he put it away? Hit the post! He struck it well enough, no argument there, and he had the keeper beaten too, but just not the post. Failure by a matter of inches. Tevez, Rooney, showed his defensive quality with that interception. Now, this is a promising break. Pushed away. Good individual effort, but needs to pass it now. Park ji -sung. Here they come once more. Poor challenge, free kick given. Close enough to have a shot on goal. And he'll turn back in. Got the shot in, but it's gone over. Some excellent build-up play meant he was given the time and space to have a pop. He seemed to rush the shot, though. Almost an hour gone here. Now have possession. No, it's been intercepted. Here's Henri. He's in the box. And it's a corner kick. It seems some fresh legs will be introduced here. Lifts it high. Gabriel Melito. And again. Out of play, and that will be a goal kick. <laughs> Vidic. Carrick. Knocks it out to the flank. Good footwork, creating the counter-attack. Another throw in a dangerous situation. Now it's a goal kick. Abidal. Clep. Tevez. Rooney. Possibility here. Chance wasted there, that's well off target. He might have been expecting a heavy challenge there. Perhaps that's why he seemed to rush the shot. We're almost in the final quarter of an hour. Here's Iniesta. Back pass, an integral part of any game. 
We've reached the last 15 minutes of the game. And Pleb and Abidal. The forward push gains momentum. Brown. What a through ball. Carry. Here's a strike. And the keeper decides to come off his line for the ball. Clef. Messi. Mark Jisung. May have to deal with another one now. A perfect example, really, of how to switch sides effortlessly. Needs to be accurate. He's headed it away. And the whistle's gone, and the assistant referee's got his flag up. Just pulled offside there. Let's see how this decision can affect the outcome of the game. It's gone for the middle. Defence needs to be tight on the man here. Oh, took him out. Free kick given. Oh, red card! Well, not the best of tackles, it's true, but surely that's a little harsh. He can't believe it. And I'm sure his manager, too, will have plenty to say about that afterwards. It will be fascinating to see how the manager's decision here will affect the game. This is a grip. There's no keeping them down! That was so ambitious, and we all know he's got the ability to make it look so easy. Even the other side can do nothing but stand back and admire such skill. <laughs> Two one, only a slender lead, and they need the ball down the other end of the pitch. There'll be two additional minutes tacked on. It's another patient build-up, moving the ball around well, looking for runners in behind the defence. The team's enjoying this rare spell of possession, but they have to turn opportunities like this into something more meaningful. Here's Xavi. And Kleb. confidence about the movement of the ball now fails to take it cleanly he's done it and those defenders just can't believe it one moment they're seconds from victory and in a flash the game is level again what a goal that is the fellas only on the pitch what less than a minute we've seen the manager on the touchline we've seen his dance absolutely fantastic how good is that What a game, two goals apiece, and who says that they're finished? That was a case of patience finally paying off. They didn't rush things, just went about playing their own football and waited until a gap opened up. There's the whistle for the end of normal time, and the managers now have a five-minute window for an impromptu team talk before extra time. They'll be really disappointed that they couldn't put this game to bed. For some reason, the initiative was handed over to the opposition who were allowed to get right back into the match.
first period of extra time. And the referee blowing his whistle. The last 15 minutes of the second half of normal time. The pace actually picked up. I doubt they'll be able to keep that going for long. They came up with that most incredible equaliser. And what a time to score as well. So they've forced extra time. They've shown plenty of character. Can they build on their achievements so far? And they come again. And that was a very well-timed tackle. Silvest. Plays it through. A promising movement. And the unstoppable force in possession yet again. Into those safe hands. Gary Neville. Carrick. He wastes possession. Coaches so often say to players, treat the ball as a friend. Concede a free kick with a ferocious tackle. Oh, what's coming here? It's a red card! Well, I'm sure the manager and the player will have some harsh things to say about that afterwards. But the referee has been decisive. And here they come again. The defender cuts this one out. And a chance here for a goal! Well, it was a tricky shot, but the keeper handled it well. Too long and out of play. The referee looks at his watch, only a few seconds left here. Wins the ball, great defending. It's the end of the first half of extra time and the scores are still level. Some very, very tight... Into the last 15 minutes then, and we've all seen how tired some of those players are. Others striving to keep their form, excellent overall levels of fitness, I'd say. Could still be that we'll see some decent action. We've seen goals at both ends, but still we have deadlock. Not much time left to play. Will they go for a winner? It doesn't seem so. Maybe the managers prefer not to risk it and to go for a draw. Good save. Goalkeeper anticipated it well. It's up for the aerial challenge. And Puyol. Here's Abidal. Play pushes forward then. And he's looking to play it into the channel. Very quickly off his line. So much of goalkeeping is about anticipation. And he shoots from there. Well, the chance was created, but the finishing was really poor. Just when he looked poised to score, he got the shot all wrong. He won't be at all happy with himself for such poor technique. a strong spine to this team all the way through the central defenders the midfield players and the strikers another chance to cross Giggs tidied up well Xavi Iniesta Abidal it's a patient but precise build up from a team making sure their passes are sticking they seem confident this approach will pay off. And the unstoppable force in possession yet again. A corner kick given. Swings it in. There's no respite for the defence, and they win another corner. Oh, they'll battle for this in the middle. The 
whistle goes, extra time is over. There are many tired legs out there. Who is going to hold their nerve now in this penalty shootout? Football purists will argue that the shootout is not the ideal way to settle a match. We go into the penalty shootout where even the nerves of experienced penalty takers will surely be tested. His job to get their five penalties off to a good start. Will he? Under great pressure, he bangs it past the keeper. He made it, it's 1-1. One, one. He slots it home, it's one apiece. That start should calm the nerves a bit. Oh, the keeper makes the save. Not the best taken penalty you'll ever see, but still credit to the keeper for saving it. He blasts it high. He's completely skied it. He went for power, but couldn't keep it down. Great save by the keeper again, incredible. The keeper kept his eye on the ball and didn't let himself be fooled by the antics of the taker. Gets nowhere near it. He's put it away. The poor goalkeeper didn't stand an earthly. Miss this, and the match is all over. Never easy to take penalties, so Im incredible save, and that's the match. The fans on their feet as down comes the curtain on a true drama. They did well to hang on for the shootout, but maybe wishing they hadn't when they crumbled under the pressure. John, I've never lost a penalty shootout in my life. I can't tell you what these players are feeling right now.